Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today we're going to look at using Cocoa binding in macOS apps to bind an object to an array controller in table view so that you can dynamically populate a table view with data. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and remember to hit the dinner bell to be notified. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I've created a blank macOS Swift project that we can start with. And the first thing we want to do is create a new class. So let's add a new file. Next. And we'll call this cheese coin stamp. Copy the name. And what we want to do here is create a class called cheese coin stamp. And it's going to inherit from NS object. And now we're going to create three different properties. And each of these properties basically maps to one column in our table. And we have to mark each of our properties with at Objective-C and dynamic keywords. So Objective-C dynamic var date will be of type string. And let's actually just copy this. And we'll put a price double purchased double. And we'll make an initializer, put our date string price double and our purchased and again our date values align with a date column and the price values align with a price column and same thing with purchased so let's go back to our view controller and instantiate a new object and again we'll put objective c and dynamic var, and we'll just call this cheese coin log, will be of type array of cheese coin stamps with one value in there. So our cheese coin stamp will be date dot description, and then we'll take, take a price, we'll just call it 3.14, and our purchase, let's just put 500. Now we need to go to the storyboard to add a table view to our view controller as well as a button that when pushed will allow us to add a new cheese coin stamp to our log. So let's go to storyboard, search for table view, scroll down here, change the columns to three, and we'll increase our size a little bit. And then let's add a button. Before we start, we need to add a array controller to our view controller, which will essentially be bound and grab the data and put it into the, our array. So we need to go to our bindings inspector and we want to bind this to our view controller. And the object that we're going to bind it to is our model key path. So we want to bind it to our cheese coin log. So our array controller is linking to our cheese coin log, which is an array of cheese coin stamps. Now we need to go to our table view and click on the content in the bindings inspector and we want to bind this to our array controller to basically say we're going to grab our data for our table from our array controller. While we're here, let's change the title. Now our table view is grabbing data from our array controller but we need to tell each cell what it's going to correspond to in that data. So in other words, we want to grab the date property from our cheese stamp for the date column and same thing with price and purchased. So to do that, we're going to drill down here and grab our table view cell. I'm going to go to our bindings inspector. We do want to bind this to our table cell view and then we'll do object value. This corresponds to our cheese coin stamp. So cheese coin stamp dot date. Now we'll do the same thing with our table view. Change this to price and make sure we bind it. And same thing with purchased. Bind it and we set this to purchased. change our typo here and while we're here let's also set our t 
table to have alternating rows. And then we need to bind our button so that it actually does something when we click on it. So let's option click our view controller and then control click our button, drag it down, insert action, and add stamp. Let's close this for now. And all we're going to do here is append cheesecoin.log a new cheesecoin stamp. And we'll, again, we'll take our current date, oops, grab the description, and for our price, we'll do double dot random, and we'll do a range between 0 0.1 and 1, ah, 2. And then for our purchased amount, we'll do the same thing, double dot random. You see that we have our initialized item, and when we click our button, it starts adding items to our array. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the dinner bell. Thanks for watching.